everyone welcome back for more exos heroes content in today's video we're going to discuss the ranking of all awakening heroes before that if you want to see more updated exos heroes content please hit the subscribe button down below hello everyone so welcome to this ranking video for your awakening heroes so we have here the awakened uh, awakening heroes that belong to this banner so we have actually seven of them um i'll start with the number seven so in terms of ranking we have here unfortunately the last person on the list which is fc shakan although fc shakan was actually given his um core reverse i felt that it wasn't too much um he actually had um had these um what they call this additions so i'll go through his skills for his passive so he has thrust three upon taking damage deals 30 percent and afflicts stun on the attacker for five turns when attack hits gain mana if health of the target is 80 percent or more removes one mana from the target and gains mana to self if health of target is at 30 percent or less so harbinger of awakening afflicts uh, mark of revenge to an enemy that kills an ally this buff is removed when the target with the mark of revenge is killed or damaged by harbinger of awakening and activates the awakening effect of all allies with the awakening skill so your awakening blue dragon descent buff increases own block by 360 this is actually one, this is one of the one that was added so um I'm not really sure if it's that much, but I'd rather, you know, have usually increased dodge than increased block because block is actually, block de it still absorbs half of the damage. So it decreases critical hit by 180 and can't be ruled. Okay. Increases attack speed by 25 and gains damage immunity for four turns when health is at or below 30%. So blue dragon protection increased block of all allies by 150 percent sorry this was the one who what uh, which was added uh by 150 percent of own block for round one for one round at the start of the round remove when ally is attacked so um for this to work actually you have to increase his block um awakening uh, awaken him with blue uh guardian stones will actually do it was it blue sorry you don't awaken him with the uh, with uh, what they call this you awaken him but you equip him i think with blue guardian stones okay because awakening him with blue guardian stones will give him more defense but if you don't awaken him you equip him it's actually increased block um block for for fc um shakan so this is not really it it actually was a good addition but it wasn't really that impactful in terms of his kit um, his re usage rate actually did not improve and he did not really make a dent in, in the meta or even in PvE. So very he's a he's a def he's a defensive um, hero um, doesn't deal that much attack. I think signature force improved actually his kit but not that much. So for that I will actually rank him on the seventh of uh this group for our sixth i will go to fc baraka so for fc baraka obviously you've seen his um more durable twin which is uh, a first guardian version of fc baraka um i would not you actually recommend you get fc baraka or consider him if you have plans to summon him I'd rather you get the other FC. Um, he's not really. He's actually okay, but he's squishy enough that you know you have to build him up that much. But the F, the the first Guardian version of Baraka is actually better because it's a blue fate core, plus he has um, the first Dragon passive, which is a good um, barrier for his increased defense, um, increased survivability and nothing really nothing really special about this one um the only the only you know the only reason why you get this if you know you, you haven't you haven't gotten any uh the, the other one the 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 first guardian but i would 
I suggest that you hold off on the on him if you want to summon him or choose him, because he you you will eventually get the other one anyway, um, and he is actually pretty much sometimes dependent on Rachel as well for disheartened. Um, but again, he is he's he's kind of average, not really that good. Uh, in terms of you bringing her, uh, bringing him eventually, you'll actually look for a better character, a better version than this version. So on to our fifth. Our fifth would be FC Ramji. So I put FC Ramji on the fifth because again, he's similar to he is similar to um, FC Baraka in, in in a way that he also has a first guardian twin that i have actually uh, mentioned if you're if if you want to know more on what i'm talking about about fc baraka and fc uh, ramji i'll put a link up there below with the rankings that i have for all first guardians so you'll see their versions there but for him i put him on fifth ahead of those two because because he actually has silence um and also i like his kit because he also has nullify heal if you don't really have any nullify heal yet so it will really depend on what your need if you don't have any option and you need a nullify heal character you get him but again i would suggest you you don't you know don't summon for him um get uh the other one the first guardian version of ramchi i think he would be better for you also he has better survivability than this version so that is our fifth our fourth would be okay otard um i actually like her kit um she's a very good damage dealer um increases on critical hit by 360 decreases block by 180 can't be removed increases attack speed by 25 percent so she has also has harbinger of awakening which the theme more or less of this banner or this group but what i like from her is she also has counter by the way dragonite blessing and but what i like from her is actually this one both of her s1 and s2 have 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 uh, extra damage that they can deal because um as long as the enemy has um status effects when the skill hits okay so she is actually a crazy damage dealer that if you need a fire fire um fire element damage dealer you she's actually good you can replace if you don't have fc annie if you don't have fc maggie you can actually bring her she's actually good take note she's, she's just on a squishy side but you can actually augment that uh because of her niche potential but overall she is actually in fourth because of her tremendous damage for your s1 and her s2 so if you don't have anyone she's an, she's a very good alternative in your teams in which that you could bring very big damage um to your enemies for number three um she was once actually once of once my favorite so you have fc lepin fc lepin actually is an all-around you know all around hero you can bring her in pvp tag she is actually also she actually has heal she has revive she has a uh, um what they call this uh harbinger of awakening as well so harbinger of awakening is a flex mark of revenge to an enemy so similar similar to the rest um in terms of then she has block of 360 decrease decreases critical hit by 180 increase attack speed and gate damage immunity so basically the same but for her for her s1 this is where she is actually shining the most aside from her s2 because she provides turn reset to a random teammate um she actually deals damage grants heal over time that heals one ally by 12 percent but she resets a turn which is good even though if it's random it's okay it's actually good because it's another turn that you can do something any one of of your allies also for her 
S2, she is actually one, one of the best because she actually has heals all allies, cleanses all debuffs, uh, debuffs and damage over time effects from all allies, but she also revives all dead allies and grants damage immunity for one turn. So this is kind of, this is kind of, what do you call this? Um, kind of annoying. I, when, when she was in her peak, actually before Dorka came in, before, um, before FC Talia came in, she was actually one of the best healers and revivers in the game, but she is still very useful in your teams. She is a frost element. And I think, um, if you have a chance to get her and you need her on your team, you can get her. She's ranked at number three. For our number two, for our number two, we have FC Shufraken. Um, and guess what? Shufraken or Shufi or um, I don't know what, what the others call him. I call him Shufi. Shufi actually is um is back in PvP. I've seen the team that he is comprised of. So Shufraken, you have Valentina, F FC Shufraken, FC Valentina. You have their FC Iris, Dorka, and the other one is FC Battery. They squeezed in the top 50 teams actually, and they're good. And they're good. He's actually a comeback king because Shufraken, or FC Shufraken used to dominate PvP before. And he was so sought after that almost all the teams that you could see in PvP were full of Shufrakens. My god, Shufrakens. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go over his kit. So I'll tell you why he is um, number two. He has Fear of the Abyss, so a flicks target with less defense than self with Fear of the Abyss. Abyss mark targets with less than 10% health at the end of the turn deals 65 damage to all enemies in the same row so that is why he was good i think he's still good but you know most of the heroes now are, are, are tankier so you will actually you'll actually value him for his for his what he called this for his s1 and s2 but this is actually um one of the utilities that he was brought and i think is currently currently being brought right now in pvp so for his S1, so deals 20% damage to one enemy, but afflicts despair, lasts until removed. If target is suffering from fear of the abyss and causes mana burn, so one mana, dealing 50% every turn. So he causes mana burn as well. Mana burn is losing one mana, just that's just it. So um, and his S2 is actually deals 210% damage to all back row, afflicts target with freeze. Freeze is similar, is similar to stun. Um, they don't do an action for 7 turns. Deals 150 additional damage for each self-harm stack on target. So again, he's, he has a utility that can cripple teams on the other side. So that is his value. He's a defense type um, hero. He is, with, he is with frost element as well. And he can actually hold his own as well in terms of... Um, what he calls it one-on-one -on -one defense with the enemies so for our number one ranked hero all we have left is fc rachel so for fc rachel i'll tell you guys he actually sorry he actually has counter this hearten is one of his um unique passives that's very good so afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with a disheartened mark and decreases their dodge by 50 and defense by 50. So the in order, you know, in order for this to, to, to take effect, all the other enemies should have lower attack than FC Rachel and their attack will be reduced by 50 and defense by 20%. So more damage for the enemy. He also has Harbinger of Awakening as well. So similar to his other... Um, friends here in awakening and let's go to his s1 so for his s1 so deals 315 damage to one enemy resets the turn if target dies this is a good utility especially if if you're finishing off enemies and you want to take another turn for him 
and also for his S2, which is a burst skill, deals 525 damage to one enemy, increases attack slash hit of all allies by 50%, and their attack speed by 20 if the target dies. This is actually good, good, uh, what they call this, additional, the additional skill to his damage uh, because it actually supports all of his, uh, what they call this, all of his team members. Right now, the team in, of Linombe actually is um, on the top in terms of PvP. That is why, uh, and Rachel actually has really, has really good potential ever since. Right now, he has one of the best supporting cast in FC April. You could bring in FC Boris, which was just recently core reversed. You could also bring in FC FC Baraka because he's with the Dombe. You could also bring FC Zion with him. So basically right now, Lin, uh, Linombe is very deadly, very fast, and deals a lot of damage. She, uh, Team Linombe can cripple you as fast as they can. That is why FC Rachel is dominating this ranking at number one. Okay, guys. So what do you think? Um, I think, I hope I did this list justice um again this is just my opinion if you have your opinions um i will respect that as well so um if you have comments you have any suggestions please write them down in the comment section below also please don't forget to subscribe because around 80 percent or 80 or 85 percent of my viewers have not subscribed yet and again, this is the warden. Y'all stay safe and I'm 